you want to watch Heat Wave before anyone else? Well, there's an easy way to do that. Just back us up on Patreon at patreon.com slash half empty e tank and be the first to watch the episodes. All right, guys. So I got one last question for us on this episode. What is your favorite video game console and why? Uh, we all know what mine is, so I'm just going to wait a minute. But I think I know what yours is. No, you don't. But these other two, I'm not uh, so sure about. I don't know what mine is. Okay, well, what is it? Should we just make Brian guess what our favorite consoles are? Yes. Yeah. Okay, it's N64? <clears throat> nope. Okay. No, I don't know them. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no other game systems exist. Good to try. Super Gem Tendo? Yes. Super yes. Gem Tendo. Super Gem Tendo. No. Honestly, my favorite console <laughs> is the Nintendo Switch. Okay. I mean, it's a great fucking console. It's a yeah. sleeper hit. Yeah. I was. <laughs> super hit? <laughs> no, sleeper hit. <laughs> <laughs> Which is still just a silly. <laughs> I was gonna say the N sixty four, and my reasoning would be like nostalgia. Yeah, but yeah, if yeah. I really but thought nostalgia about it, is terrible, and yeah. everyone should avoid it. But if I really think about it, like the Nintendo Switch is probably my favorite console, like yeah, right now. It's, that's, a, it's nearly a perfect console. Like every time I hear a game is coming out, I'm like, is it coming out to the Switch? Yeah, and like I just prefer. Like we have several games for the PS four and the Switch. I prefer to play everything on the Switch. Mm. Um. I just think it's really sleek. Uh, it's easy to carry around, you know. Um, and I love the weird square controller that the Joy Cons are <laughs> that they like turn into. Yeah. I don't ever play with a pro controller. Yeah, that uh, weirds me out a little bit. I don't. I just don't like it. I love the like wow. little weird square thing. Huh. So it fits my little tiny hands. <laughs> You're the first person I've seen who has preferred that over yeah. the yeah. Pro. Yeah. Firstly, yeah. it's too small for my hands mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah. understandable ogre meat hooks <laughs> yeah but yeah i just love it and then my my switch is the splatoon one so i have the like lime green and hot pink joy cons which i think is super awesome so best cons yeah. they are they're really the best colors a friend of mine when i was in the hospital last uh went to cheer me up by by like he got me a switch and he got me Octopath Traveler. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wee. Nice. <laughs> Which. Not a Jairus game. Is not a Jairus game. Ah. He, I, wa- I, he wanted to, like, it was one of those things, was very though, sweet. where somebody, like, did a really amazingly nice thing. Mm. And also, like, hey, I think you might enjoy this. Mm. Okay. So I, like, tried to play it. And we got a little ways into it. It's fine for a JRPG, but. I, I like the graphical style of it. Yeah. Mm. But I just didn't much care for the game itself. Yeah. Um, well, what's your favorite console, though? Windows PC. No, That's not a console. <laughs> That's not a console. Can't That's, say that. I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> Xbox Live on the PC. <laughs> Game Pass. Games or Windows <laughs> Live. <laughs> Come on, man. I know you have a console No, I mean, like, like, so I'm I'm kind of torn. Um, I was a really big fan of the Sega Genesis. Um, and that's what a lot of my fondest memories were. I Like, I am not a person who feels very strongly about one console over another. That's fair. Like, the... Sega Genesis was the first console that my, I got my hands on. Yeah. Um, Nintendo 64 was the first console that I owned. Okay. Um, and then PlayStation 2 was like the second console that I owned. Mm-hmm. And then Xbox One was the one that I got after that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I haven't been as much of a console player as the rest of y'all have been. Mm-hmm. Um, and now I mainly just use my Xbox One to run Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's honestly what most people are using it yeah. for, too. That being said, the Game Pass on it and PC are really good. Yeah, uh, I, I've been thinking about doing that, but I just you need don't, time to play games don't too. have the energy to play games. Yeah. Like, or not to... To, to play new whatever games have that many potential games opened up to me yeah I so and that. i just get decision paralysis and and not play any of not them. do anything at all no. yep i get that i get that, I get that a lot um hutch uh so i would say the xbox 360 is mine um and i i want to almost say the xbox one because it can play 360 games but uh <laughs> so um, but also netflix and also netflix uh so 
the th- 360 was my first Xbox console, and I also appreciate that it could play the older stuff. Like, I bought it, and then I bought Halo 2. Because <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to play play that with my friends in the uh, dorms. Um, but I just really liked the online. Like, the <laughs> achievement system was super addicting that that threw out there. Yeah. Um, I like the, the Microsoft exclusive games. Like, I you know, Halo, all the Halo games on there, 3 and Reach, uh, and ODST. Um the gears games were were really good um and uh i i liked the controller except that d-pad was atrocious it was really bad that was the worst thing about it but other than that it was a perfect controller it was yeah it was it felt really good in the hand so much um, so that uh, pc gaming uh adopted it yeah <laughs> like it became the main controller to play on yeah. your mm-hmm. uh, pc yeah um so it, it was not a perfect console because <laughs> i so mine uh, got hit with the um, Red Ring of Death. I um, got a almost launch console. It was the first and almost next to last one that I actually waited in front of a store to get. Wow. Yeah. Um, let me tell you, I don't ever do it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, not, this day and age, you don't need to. But that was bullshit, and I regret doing it. Um, but, yeah, I mean... I, I lost my, my, my thought trail. Sorry. Well, no, you're good. At the <laughs> Xbox 360 uh, was a really great system, mm. so much so that I bought seven of them. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was where I was going to get. <laughs> yeah. An insane so, person. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I, I um, so mine, uh, you know, had to get repaired, and then mm-hmm. they sent me a uh, refer back, basically. And then that one red ring, and like, you know. You like, didn't just wrap a towel around it? I did or do that. that thing is. And, it, and it helped for a little bit. And then I opened it up and like replaced the uh, the whole X clamp stuff in it, uh, and then I got one with Connect to oh, replace yeah. it. Uh, and the Connect was fun for little things. It was new, so like it was. I still yeah. love the Connect. So we will yeah. keep our our Xbox 360 forever because it has one of my favorite games on it that's not that you can't get anymore, and it's the <laughs> Sellers of Catan board game by what is the name of the Big Huge Games? Big huge it's games. the it's uh-huh. the Xbox Live exclusive Catan. Yeah, and it only exists on that console. And you can't version. even download it now. Like that company has been dissolved. So, or, like, we have to keep our Xbox. It's in the Scott Pilgrim situation. Yeah. Where yeah. It's where... like, it, once that Xbox dies, we've lost that game mm-hmm. forever. And I'm so sad. I have that same situation with <laughs> my PS3, but the uh, well, Scott Pilgrim, uh, yeah. yeah. Do you know why they call it the Xbox 360? Why? Um, because you, you see it, mm-hmm. and then you turn 360 <laughs> degrees around and walk away from it. <laughs> And trip over it because it's right in front of your dumbass. <laughs> so, um, <Good> jokes. <laughs> I think we all know what my favorite uh, console is. Wonder Swan Color. I can't exactly. believe it. I know it's amazing. Super game. Famicom. Yes, mm. the Virtual Boy. Virtual Boy. Exactly. Engage. Side talking is sweet. Yeah, I can't wait. <laughs> I, I did actually own the Taco Phone. Ah! I did actually own that. I what bought was for the Sonic Razor Inn. one? It was the Razor kick oh god i don't even remember do you remember when we went to that mlg and you got a yes free i got a free fucking <laughs> playstation phone i got the sony oh. the sony playstation phone and then yeah. because we were so broke after the first mega marathon brian sold his iphone because yeah, we didn't have it. money for like food or some shit and had to use that <laughs> shitty playstation phone for a few months and i would play crash bandicoot on it <laughs> <laughs> came with one game and it was crash bandicoot That's poverty's funny yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. but the one thing i didn't sell when we did Mega Marathon was my entire Dreamcast collection. Obvi- uh, How many Dreamcasts do you have, Brian? Oh, actually, I just sold one. Uh-huh. I just uh, sold one earlier this week to one of my coworkers. But what does that make you down to now? I'm down to eight. Eight Dreamcast oh, consoles. No. You have more than that, babe. I was at nine. You were at 13. No, 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 no. Ooh. I got the functional consoles. I'm How at... many do you have total? I don't care if it works <laughs> well, or then, not. Then I'm at 12. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then. I have a couple that don't work, but I've used well, them for like, not, repair it's parts. It's not legally a Dreamcast. It's just a paperweight. <laughs> yeah. Well, one I want to turn no. into a shadow box, but... Um, Tell them why. <laughs> it was my launch one. It was my first Dreamcast. Aww. And it's like what I played. It's the one I've played the most. 
And I, what I was going to do is I was going to make uh, a shadow box showing all the layers of the inside of the console uh, spread cool. out. And just so you can see all the internal parts. So that's what I'm waiting to do with that one. And that's going to be, cool. be like my centerpiece for it. That'd be cool. I've seen... Um, I, I like the idea of electronics as decoration. Mm-hmm. And I've seen a couple of people who've taken like their PC builds mm-hmm. and uh, put them on a wall yeah. as art. Yeah. No, I and think I it's really cool. Lot. Especially when you do like the wiring, like really pretty like wiring mm-hmm. along with it. It's like putting all the AOL um, CD ROMs on a Christmas tree. <laughs> <laughs> exactly it's, it's beautiful everyone knows you're together. supposed to melt those down and turn them into armor <laughs> <laughs> um but the reason why the dreamcast means a lot to me was because i've never i i hate the term gamer because it has a lot of connotations now but uh i am a gamer i play video games i enjoy video games it's a big mm-hmm. part of my life to the point that we have this dumb video game podcast that we're in and sort have created. Of. Sort of, kind of. I'm kind of in it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen and, the game once or twice. And video games mean a lot to me. And the moment where I realized that was when I had to have a Dreamcast. Yeah. There wasn't like a, I want a Dreamcast. No, that wasn't it. I had to have one. It's when I learned about the aspect of like, Japan gets games sooner than us. Mm-hmm. I learned a lot about the culture uh, behind it. I just got so ingrained with like the details of like this industry, and the Dreamcast is why. And it started your uh, very short-lived career as <laughs> a professional gamer. Oh yeah, so that's a whole nother that's a whole nother segment down the road. But yes, uh, I was uh, profitable with one of the games on the Dreamcast for a couple years. Uh, but, um, what's really amazing about that console is that it was Sega and their one last chance and they drew everything at the wall, like whether it was good, bad, whatever, they did not hold back. They did whatever they could to survive. Buckets of semen. And it, (laughs) I mean, you could say that about semen. (laughs) <laughs> and yeah. it, it was there was some wall spaghetti <laughs> there was that was definitely just like what the fuck are we doing that is one of my best selling patches the what well, yeah the caution one? Seaman any patch. of the weird like so when we first got the embroidered machine brought i was like i want to make all these like weird dreamcast games into patches and i was like what the fuck like no one knows what these games are we're never gonna sell these boy did he prove me wrong <laughs> all that we weird sell a shit lot of space sells, Channel five patches we it sells so fast all the time and i, I guess just because there's no merch for it out there yeah. so when mm-hmm. people find it they're like i have to have this right now so click the link <laughs> actually my shop's on vacation right now so click, you can click, click it, the link in a few months you can yeah. click it and favorite you can, you can follow come follow back sometime it. you can follow it and i'll put out an announcement when i'm back actually up. we have that in our description every episode oh, so. okay cool <laughs> <laughs> by art <laughs> yeah but the dreamcast just means a lot to me and when i was the one kid in our school that was fighting for it and then on top of that all my friends in mount airy did buy it so i was like this is gonna be fine <clears throat> and we just we i, I started soul caliber tournaments with, uh because of that uh i started my first like leadership in a gaming community uh, with that console, I'm gonna play Power Stone. Again. Power Stone is amazing. Mm-hmm. Julian Spillane created uh, Mighty uh, Mighty Fighting Forces, I believe. Which it's is called. yeah, it's basically Power Stone, and it just went into uh, it just went into uh, early access on Steam. Mm. Oh, nice. So check that out. Shout out to our good friends up in the the, the cold north. The cold north. Yeah. But um, no, the, just the Dreamcast just ended up meaning a whole lot to me. Yeah. I would say runner up GameCube. Another weird it fucking had the console. Handle. It uh, had a weird handle, weird shape. It looks cute and a bunch of weird games. <laughs> yeah. Weird controller. Eternal yeah. Darkness yeah. Sanity's Requiem. Uh, yeah. I have to give Jim Tendo credit for just trying weird controller setups. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, they like, gave us the Wii. Whereas everyone is just making these mayonnaise bullshit controllers mm. that are like an Xbox and a PlayStation controller. They're fine. They're just a distillation of yeah, like the most efficient way that you could build a controller. And it's but 16 and the, buttons, two and analog Nintendo sticks, two is triggers. Consistently changing their controllers. Yeah. And it always, well, not always, but most of the time it works out fine. 
Yeah. We put up with the Nintendo 64. I love the Nintendo 64 controller. Not me. I don't know. It just fits in my hands. It used to be okay. Hands, I so. don't think I care for it much these days. <laughs> I, I, I will say that uh, <laughs> even like the N64 is probably my least favorite game console, but I still love it. Mm. Like... I there's there's a lot of games on there that's not for me. I have no nostalgia for them. I, I went from the Genesis to the Dreamcast, so I skipped yeah. that generation mostly. Yeah. But um, it still like going back to it. I can still like feel like a kid because it was one of the first multiplayer consoles. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I had that. It had four uh, controller like the ports. first network <laughs> or, or like large enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There's so many controller ports. Mario Party was a blast, yeah. mm-hmm. even though I hate that franchise. <laughs> You refuse to play it now. Yeah, I, 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 well, the new one's good. I, I can appreciate um, the Dreamcast having its uh, network adapter built in. Yep, first, uh, first online I, console. When uh, we would take trips up to Boone, I would uh, take my Dreamcast and use that to get, surf the internet. But also, um, I used it to get on to GameFAQs to download a 100% save for Sonic Adventure. Yeah, and you so could I could actually download right to your VMU, which is yeah, really cool. Yeah, so I could play that Green Hill Zone that you had to like A-rank every damn level. Yeah. And I was like, fuck that. I've got things to do. <laughs> <laughs> so the only game I've ever played on the Dreamcast is Sonic Shuffle. We really need to fix that. What? Yep. How, how you live with Brian? I know I live with Brian we Dreamcast. Should, we true, should. But <laughs> I've only ever played Sonic. Oh Shuffle. my you could, fuck! We could start a YouTube series <laughs> that is Dream Catching Up. Yes, I like it. and it's I just like it. me playing through every Dreamcast yep. game. Oh, we're gonna start with Sonic Adventure. Okay, Brian has to guide me through it. Oh, I well, guys. I, <laughs> Ikaruga is pretty fun. There's a lot of fun shit. Yeah, I think it, we could have a good time with that. I think I, maybe I would have a better uh, appreciation for the Dreamcast if I play other games besides Sonic Shuffle. Yeah, it's probably the worst. <laughs> and maybe if we didn't have like five Dreamcasts that just don't work that we just have <laughs> laying around. <laughs> They're just sitting around yellowing over time. Yeah. And well, maybe. <laughs> have you ever have you ever, have you ever wanted to drive a train? <laughs> That's a fun no. game. Not that kind of thing. Yeah, well, did you ever have a period of time where you were super into fishing? <laughs> yes, actually. That is, have we? Yeah. Do we have a game for you? Do you have the control? Soul Caliber. <laughs> Soul Caliber. <laughs> <laughs> favorite fishing game. Well, yeah. Well, guys, I think uh, we figured out what each other's favorite consoles are. We figured out that uh, I'm not good at cough drops. Um, we figured out what our. Uh, what our goals in life are before we die, or where we want to die in Jairus' case, <laughs> and, uh, yes. and what movies we're looking forward to. Yeah. yeah that's, get... l- that's the last episode. Whatever. We learn a lot about ourselves. Wow. Well, get together. Get together. If you're going to yeah. do a recap, at least get it right. That yeah. means you have to reshuffle everything in the I'm editing. <laughs> have fun with that. Brian. Nope. <laughs> Raise hell, praise Dale. <laughs> <laughs>